Hey y'all, so it is, see what time it is, 6.57 and I made it through my shift, happy Friday. Um, those two jobs back to back was just a bit too much and I probably won't do that again, but unfortunately it kind of fell at that time frame. So I had to pick up those hours for that and then plus I took the, the overtime at my other job. But Anyways, it's over with. Happy freaking Friday and almost happy weekend. So I'm looking forward for that. I did manage to come home. And when I got home, I fried some eggs and made some toast and made some coffee. Um, took a shower. I did go to sleep for about see, nine, a couple of hours. Woke up at like 1.45. Um, and then I cleaned the bathrooms and cleaned a little bit and I was like, man, I was like in that mode where you just feel like you need to do something. I do that when I noticed that like when I worked uh, nights a lot, I would do that because I am one that, this sounds weird, but this is like my body works different than everybody else's. I know it does. but. If I'm sleeping during getting up time, I feel like I'm doing something wrong and my mind won't shut off. So it literally took me a while to even shut down to go to sleep. And then like when I woke up, I felt weird out of sorts. I was like, dude, I don't like this. I don't like it. But I got up and forced myself to get some clothes on, which look, I'm looking homeless. I have like an old um, long sleeve shirt on and some um, jogging pants, but we did when the kids got off the bus um not off the bus they don't ride the bus got off of school we did go to um mexican and eight and then i'm here at the dollar general market and i figured i would do a haul and then when i get home my tail is going to be heading that direction to go lay down and, and just wind down and watch a movie and relax and go to bed because i'm tired okay i'm tired but anyway so happy friday um so I had to go in there to get some drinks and I just ended up getting some more stuff. The prices at Dollar Central has went up tremendously, which everything's went up, but I've noticed the prices in the dollar stores are by far becoming more expensive than other places. And I'm like, I'm not digging this like at all. So, um, I mean, certain things you can get for a good deal, but other things that used to be a good deal has sucked really bad. Um, but anyways, so I got, they had these coffees, two for $10, and I just went ahead and picked them up because the McDonald's coffee sounded good, but I got the Green Mountain, it's the breakfast blend, light roast, I'll, this is like one of my by, by far favorites, it's a lighter coffee, um, so I got this one, not that I need more coffee, but, you know, I love coffee, so, little extras, never want to do you no wrong. Um, Mercy, there it is. No, it ain't. Well, guys, I have another one somewhere, but I'll just wait until I get to it because I'm not want to dig through the bag. So this looked good. This is the applesauce cinnamon. That was like on one of those like dollar sections. This was at a clearance. Everything that was 50% off, or crap, everything that was marked down, you took another 50% off, and these were $1.75. So I got these for half off of that. I got these Debbie Cakes. It's Unicorn Sparkling Strawberry Debbie Cakes. Look how cute and pretty those are. I'm wanting to order me, and I might do that tonight. I've seen on TikTok where um, they have these Wrangler backpacks, and they're like, I'm wanting to say 49 or 50 bucks. I can't remember, but if you buy it on the TikTok shop, you get like a 30% off coupon on it. So the backpack's super cute. So I'm thinking about getting that. I know that's random, but I carry gum and crap like that in my backpack and that made me think of these but i'm gonna get me that backpack because it's cute um i got some sonic strawberry lemonade um 
packets. I love the packets. This is by far my favorite, the Zero Sugar Tang. I love this. I could never get enough of this stuff. It's so good. It's good in the mornings too. I got a Zero Sugar. All these are Zero Sugar, but this is strawberry and watermelon. And then a cherry one, Jolly Rancher. I love those packets. I got opals, some dog food. This is the steak flavor. I got some pine saw um, garbage bags. Um, I got this deodorant. This one's half off of 540 for two um, deodorant sticks or whatever. It's the secret powder fresh. I need to look at my receipt and make sure they took it off. And then I got one of these dollar no uh, scratch hand washer things, hand scrubbers. Also got the coat, the Mountain Dews and Waters, which I showed that starting off on this video. I'll put it on here. Maybe, I don't know. I filmed some of it, but I may just not even add that because I'd have to like re-add it to this video. Who's playing music? My heavens. Um, I got a Tropical um, Punch. These were $2 versus the Kool-Aid ones, which are like freaking, um, they were like $4, I think, $3.45 for that. I'm like, no, ain't gonna do that crap. And then I got two things of the carpet cleaner, heavy duty foam stuff. And then, Justice wanted some of these uh, cheap, not Cheetos, Fritos, flavored twist things, honey barbecue. These things are good. I got him those. I got two of these for whoever wants to try them. It's the peanut butter and jelly little sticks with strawberry spread to go with it. That's what it looks like. That music is totally distracting me. Very much so. And here's the other one, the McCoffee or McCafe breakfast plan. This is really good. I like the black silk, but they didn't have the black silk, so. And then the last thing that I got here is some chocolate chip cookies for them. And I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's a rainy, dreary day out here. It's like, it, it turned dark super quick too. And I was like, wow. So I didn't think that it would be so dark. Um, I look a mess, but I didn't think it would be so dark. And by the time I got out here, it was like pitch dark, pitch dark. So I had to turn some, some lights on up in here. But anyways, y'all, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm trying to figure out where that music's coming from the thump 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 it must be these boys over here in these trucks who knows i don't know but anyways y'all i seen where i hit 30,000 subscribers so woohoo super excited about that um i never even thought in my like life that i would even have 10 subscribers let alone 30,000 subscribers um, so that's pretty awesome, you know, 30,000 subscribers for the low country girl like me. Um, but anyways, thank you guys. Appreciate that for subscribing and following me, um, and following my crazy journey that I'm upon, this little thing called life. And I'm telling y'all what, I was in here in this dollar store and was shopping around and I, I'll just tell you what happened and it, it it rubbed me wrong and I about said something but I couldn't like it was like and and listen when I get upset I, I pretty much tell people how it is but I don't know what it was but I was silent and um anyways somebody had this dog in here like they were several checkout things in here and 
the dog was barking so much like it was bizarre like i know dogs bark and stuff but if you're gonna be bringing a dog into a like store it needs to be like under control the way that i would feel that it should be which that like that was fine that but that really has nothing to do with what i'm talking about but it was just like the things that you see nowadays in this world it's just freaking crazy um but so those people were checking out with that dog and i was behind them and this girl she looked probably maybe late 20s um wasn't very polite um and so i i was starting to put some of my stuff on the table thing there and she's like um can you go over there to him and I'm like, okay. So I was assuming she was shutting down, like, you know, going home or whatever, getting ready to close. I'm like, okay, no big deal. Get over there, start putting my stuff over there. And she starts talking to him, like, like while we're checking out. And she's like, I'm about to be going home. Um, I can't remember how many minutes it was or 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know, cause I'm half delirious myself. Um, but here comes like four or five people getting in her line and she starts checking them out okay mind you i've not had sleep that much mind you i'm tired which anyways so when he's checking me out and i'm getting toward pay for my crap i'm over here looking after she's telling me to get over here in this other one which is not a big deal it's just the aspect of the situation and I wanted to look at that man and I wanted to say, is there any reason why she couldn't check me out and made me move over here? And then all these slew of people are getting checked out. That's what I wanted to say. And I was standing there and I about caught her out on it, but I didn't. Cause you know, sometimes there's no reason in even saying anything. And I felt like I didn't even need to say anything. I was like, you know, this ain't even worth my time. But, and it, and it could have been something innocent, but the moral of the story is I don't think that you should do people like different right, ways or wrong or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm being petty. I don't know. But it rubbed my spirit raw and wrong. Um, and I looked at that man when I looked at her and I was going to say something. And it was at the tip of my mouth. And buddy, it just couldn't come out. And I'm sitting in here battling in my mind. Should I say something or should I not? Or should I just walk away? And I walked away. And when I got out here, I was like, man, the freaking world that we live in is totally different than before. Like, just people. Like, people's respect for one another. Um, it's out of the water now. It's like, and I'm like, Lord, don't ever let me get to a place that I'm that way and just flat out rude to people and maybe it was something innocent but i don't know maybe she even thought that i was being rude about the dog situation i don't know i wasn't like maybe my facial expressions like said something different but the dog was out of hand and barking and carrying on and i'm like what the heck i didn't say that i was thinking that um and they were just standing there talking and then they checked out and then I was putting my stuff down and she's like, could you go over there, please? I'm like, it just, it just rubbed me wrong. Okay. But anyways, I know I'm rambling, but I'm like, I don't, I don't understand how people can be ugly to one another. I don't understand how people could express the way that they do to people and think it's okay and and just totally get by with it and think that you know well they can handle it or whatever and i'm not even just talking about this situation i'm just talking about everyday life like your work environment there's petty people there's shady people and, and it's everywhere but i'm like geez um and honey i'm one i used to didn't call people out on their crap but i do now like and i can't help it i just do it and it's it's very like i do it in a respectful way but the way that i feel it now in the society that we live in if you're going to respect or, or disrespect me 
you better believe that I'm gonna call you out on your crap and it will be respectful on my behalf, but it will probably cut you down like, you know, pretty quick because I, I, I'm not playing that crap these days. Um, but in there, that situation, I was like, I couldn't even believe that I didn't say nothing because it was like at the tip of my mouth and I want to say, is there, easy, is there any reason behind why the lady didn't check me out? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I don't know. Hope everybody's doing good. I do have some videos that I need to do um, this weekend. I have some reviews and stuff. And I'll probably be getting those out, Lord's willing. And it's raining. Y'all hear it. I love hearing that. Um... And I have another question for you guys. Um, have any of y'all ever done the micro, like, the micro brow blading stuff? I don't even know if that's what you call it or whatever, but I'm curious because I'm wanting to get my brows done because, look, I don't have any makeup on, but my brows are so light and you can't really see um, them. And I'm thinking... For my birthday next month, I'm going to do that. I'm going to treat myself to that, but I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, I've just always wanted to do it, so I'm going to go call around and set myself up an appointment for that. Um, I did make me an appointment for my car to get my oil changed, but they can't get me in until Saturday. So, not this Saturday, but next. So, I'm rambling. I'm going to get off of here, and I'm sorry that I even brought that up, but that's... That's just stuff that plays on my mind. And I keep, I try to keep my my YouTube just like about things that I like, things about my life, things about, you know, like what I'm going through. Um, because you never know what and how you can help somebody around the world and life and everything. And I'm not going to, there for a while, I'll cut myself off with even talking for several months, like back, was it a year or two ago? Cause I got so sick of the, um, the rudeness and the disrespect, but I come to realization that that's just how it is. And that's how it's gonna be in the world with people and everything else. And people has their um, own opinion and that's fine, but the own, opinion and disrespect is two different totally thing two two totally different things so um i came to uh, the conclusion of just being myself on my channel and not just cutting off the way that i want to do on my channel because so many people have gotten hurt so many people don't even do their channels anymore because of ugliness and i hate that for them because i did enjoy their channels um but I'm just going to be myself and I'm just going to be how I feel. I'm not going to come on here and be all bubbly um, like I've got plenty of sleep and this and that and the other because I'm not going to do that. I'm the type of girl is what you see is what you get and that's just how it is. It's how it's always going to be and if you don't like me, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have to like me but I do ask for respect because I give respect to everyone else too. So, but you don't have to like my channel. You don't have to like my uh, content. You don't like to have like, like my hauls and my junk food and all this stuff. And you don't have to like when I complain and when I'm sad. You don't have to like any of that. Okay? You don't. Um, I wouldn't want you to if you didn't want to. Um, but don't just come on here and disrespect me on my channel. On the page that I create for me and my followers that do appreciate me. Because they ain't going to have it. Okay? Um, I just um, had some comments, too, about some stuff. Um, and some of them were quite freaking rude. As, I mean, it's... I can... Like, I understand people saying, like, you know... The ones that say, like, you know, you shouldn't live in the past and you shouldn't ponder on the hurt and like you're giving the devil lead way like I get all that and I know that but I struggle with 
I've gotten a whole lot better throughout the years, but sometimes are worse days. But I struggle with the loneliness and of uh, not having my family and not having my mom or like my dad or my mama or my papa or people like that or like my brother. I struggle with that. And here on my channel, you know, I'm not going to just come on here and be a certain way when I'm not a certain way. Um, because at times, sometimes it's hard for me to even get on here to make videos. Like, you know, um, but I do because I do enjoy doing them. And, um, but let's just be kind of one another and, and show kindness and love and mercy and grace to one another because we're down here struggling, honey. Every one of us are down here struggling in one, one way or the other. If, if we're honest with ourselves, whatever our struggle is in life with anything, it could be financially stuff. It could be like your loved one's sick or you're going through a, a, a marital problem or a, a work situation or, you know, it could be anything. And we're all down here struggling and we all face these things. And I just want to keep my page real. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. I just want to keep my page of how I feel during the day, what I'm doing. And there's days that I don't even upload crap because I just, I don't. I've got videos on here where I was just all over the place that I haven't even uploaded because it was just a bit much. It was a, like, it was a bit much for me that day. Um, and I get that. Like, I, I get all of that. But... Those of you that feel the way for me and feel ugly about me or think that I'm this way or I'm that way, I'm too fat, um, I buy too much junk food, think whatever you want, but say a prayer for me. I, I need all the prayers I can get, honey. I need, I need prayers daily because I've come a long, far way to get to where I'm at and I made plenty of mistakes along life's way, you know. Yeah, I don't eat healthy like I should. I get that, I know that, but you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can right now. Um, but instead of like saying hurtful things to me, pray for me, like pray. Like you don't have to come on and make snark, snarky little remarks and you know, kind of make me feel even less than how I feel to begin with. Um, and I'm just being honest, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to like my channel. You don't have to like me. Um, but it's, it's a shame that my channel become to a point to where I had to put the comments on private because of all of the crap that people would put on my page and the nonsense and, um, the downgrading me and the bullying me and making fun of me and, and poking at me and, and, and calling me all these things, which if that's what y'all want to do, that's on y'all, but it don't reflect who I am as a person, but I do have a heart and, you know, I've said, I don't care what y'all say. I don't care, but I do care because I do have a heart and I do have feelings. Um, but, you know, it's a shame that society thinks that crap's okay it's a crying shame and it's it's everywhere it's not just on youtube it's it's everywhere we go but i refused to settle and have to be put to where i feel that i have to accept that and that be okay for me because it ain't and it and it never will be and i will never teach my kids that they have to accept that crap either and have to put up with it either because they don't they don't you know, I work hard for what I have. I work hard for my kids. I started from the bottom and I've rose up and I'm, I'm, I'm trucking on and I'm doing. So I refuse to settle for less. And I was like, I refuse for the crap that people shoot at me. But all that I'm saying to you guys that do do that to me, honey, pray for me. If you think that I look so bad and if you think that I'm so bad, and if you think that I'm fat, and if you think that I'm this, and if you think that I'm that, pray for me. 
But I'm going to tell you something. If you can walk in my shoes and feel the struggle and the pain that I felt in my life, and I know there's tons of people other out there, but I think you would be a little bit more caring because I've been through hell and I've been through hell and back. And that's just how it is. Um, that's the cards that I was dealt with in life and I'm okay with that. Did I want to go through those things? No, but God helped me throughout the way and God's gave me a voice to speak on the things that he's brought me through and the daily things in life that he's brought me through of his undeserving love and grace and mercy that he shares and gives to each of us daily. So, just quit the nonsense. Just quit because you ain't making yourself look good. Trust me. You ain't. You ain't. Um, and, you know, about my nails about my nails and like eating out and my kids are never around and um how do you afford my jeep how do i afford it because i bust my tail and the lord's blessed me god has blessed me with a good paying job and has made a way and no i'm not tooting my own horn but i'm thankful and i'm blessed and i'm proud of myself that i'm able to do those things by God helping me to be able to do that. Um, and my nails, I treat myself with my nails. Yes, ma'am and sir, I do because that's something that I do for myself to make me feel a bit better. And I don't go out and buy everything for myself either. Like I hardly do hardly anything for myself other than like the little Timu stuff and Dollar Tree and crap like that people buys pocketbooks that's way more money than any of that kind of crap and so while they come at me i will never know honey i'm i'm, I'm a poor girl i ain't gonna lie but i I've, I've come above that and the lord's helped me and blessed me with you know work and stuff but i ain't nothing fancy i'll never be anything fancy i don't care if i had millions of dollars i'm gonna be myself I love thrifting. I love dollar stores. I love Goodwill stores. I love the clearance rack. I love the fast food and like the candies and all that chocolate. I love all those things. Don't we all? Most of us. Um, so no, I'm not stopping any of that. Any of it. I'm not going to stop who I am. And yes, I do need to kind of work on myself and walk more and shed some pounds but I'm not over freaking weight um what else oh and what blows my mind is like the deal where about me eating out and I bet my kids don't ever get to eat out honey y'all don't even know what my, my kids eat out all the time in fact, more than what I do. Like, today we went to the freaking Mexican restaurant together and like, I'm constantly bringing on stuff. And But here's one thing, my children don't want to be in my videos 24 seven. They're teenagers for crying out loud and they don't want to be in my videos. And I get that and understand that and I respect that and they don't have to be here, okay? Y'all don't have to see every freaking move that I do especially revolving around my children, okay? Because you don't know what the crack you're talking about. And, um, but two, I get, I do YouTube videos and people see my life in a little speck of what actually everything that goes on because I ain't putting my whole life out here, every move that I make or, you know, all that crap. So before you speculate, just, you know, watch your words, pray for me, pray for all of us. Um, that's, that's one downfall of YouTube that I hate is like the bullying and the picking and, and it's everybody, like everybody that has a channel, 
there's always something negative about them. It don't matter if they're the best they can be, the skinniest they can be, the prettiest they can be. Oh, they've lost too much weight. Well, before they were heavy set, and now they look like they're on drugs. Just stupid crap like that. Let people be happy. Let people do what they want. Let people live their life. It ain't affecting you. And stay the crap off their channel if you don't want to be on there. I'm just saying, honey. But I don't know. That was just irritating me. And I, I figured I'll talk to you about it. But anyways, I hope everybody's doing good. And um, for those of you, the ones that don't like when I talk about stuff like this, I do apologize. But that crap has been bearing on my mind and my heart. And I'm just like, come on. Come on with your bad self. Because you don't know what you're talking about. And... Oh my goodness, I don't know. I just pray for the world and the people in the world and people's hearts. And I pray that whatever makes them want to feel ugly to people, that it would just stop. Because, Lord, we're down here trying to get through life down here in this crazy, messed up world, okay? We all need Jesus. We all need love. We all need mercy. We all need respect. We all need forgiveness. I forgive the people that said stuff about me. I do. I forgive you. Um, but I do have a heart and I do have feelings and a while back about set, uh, about one or two years ago, it cut my heart bad and it, it messed with me bad. The comments that I was getting and it affected me and I chose not to let that affect me anymore. But sometimes when I see comments, I'm like, you know, sometimes is it even worth it? Is it even worth, you know, coming on here and, and, and trying to express how I feel? But then the Lord always reminds me that, yes, it is worth it. Because people's helped me out there, and I've helped people out there. So, you know what? It's just another tactic from the good old, not the good old devil, but the bad devil that destroys others' lives. So, anyways... I'm going to get off of here. I need to go to bed. I need to get home and put this crap up. And yeah, I'll probably hang out with Justice and them for a while. And then I'm going to go lay down. But I love you guys. And those of you that's followed me for years and that's, you know, been kind and respectful to me, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate y'all's prayers. And all my new subscribers, appreciate y'all too. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have some fun vlogs. I'm going to do some vlogs like something fun. Um, but anyways, love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.